This is our third night now in um, Reykjavik. So let's take a look at our hotel. We're staying at a place called the Travel Inn. Um, we're outside in, in about 10 seconds, so I'll show you it. We paid just under 400, so about 195 each for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. There is no food. We have a private bathroom, some rooms do not. The kitchen is a shared kitchen, which is right outside our door. You will see free coffee every morning. It's not too bad. We'll tell you more when we get inside, but just to give you a clue where it is, the big white building in the middle is the BSI bus terminal. Catch all your trips, catch a bus to the airport. And this is where we're staying. It's called the Travel Inn Guest House. Uh, it's a twin bedroom with a private bathroom. In fact, just walk into the building, you'll be able to even see our room. I don't think we've got the light on, so... I'll let Pete go first, because you have to put a passcode in, and I don't want to yeah, watch all that. But that room there, just underneath the sign, that is our room. With the arrow pointing to our room. Um, yeah, this is it. So like I said, just under 400, just over 200 each for five nights. Not bed and breakfast, but there is coffee and even biscuits we had this morning, didn't we, Pete? No, no. Yeah, we did. We had some chocolate biscuits. Oh, yes. <laughs> there was a to choose from. Okay, so you, the way you get in, you'll have it messaged to you, is there's a code on the door. Oh, there's two people outside. I'll turn it off anyway, so I can put a code in. All right. See you later. So we're inside. Oh, shut the door. So to the right is the kitchen. Free coffee. Three biscuits, there's a microwave, a fridge, sink. So yeah, and our room is just here, number two. More. Yeah, more rooms downstairs. There's more rooms upstairs as well. I'll let Pete put the light on. Just open the curtain a bit for us, Pete, please, before I come in. Oh, I tell you what, it's nice and warm, isn't it? Okay, so I'll just let the door shut. This is the room. Two twin beds. This is a very, very standard room. There's the freezer, the fridge which I turned off because it is um, extremely noisy. Hold on. There it is. Now noisy fridges can be. So we have Pete. The bathroom is a bit weird. Open the door. It's a bit of a um, bodge job door, <laughs> as you can see. Stick light on for us, please, Peter. Like I say, we have a private bathroom. Everywhere we go, we, need, we nearly always order a private bathroom. I'm just moving to the left for you. There's the toilet. Nice toilet, a heated handrail. Mirror and a nice shower. Uh, the one trouble with that is when you use it, the drain does actually smell a little bit. Not for long. And you can hear there is a um, extractor fan on the wall. But yeah, it does smell a little bit from the usage, doesn't it, Pete? Oh, yes. But yeah, so um, that's the... Come stand over there at the light. So yeah, the good things is private bathroom. £400 was actually one of the cheapest we found, wasn't it? Yes, the rooms are quite expensive. Yeah. The reason for that, there's not many hotels. Yeah, there is. Area is really good. Yeah. Walkable anywhere. Yeah, that's the perfect location. It's, maybe it's not the perfect hotel in the world, yeah. but the location is perfect. And one of the bad things, the walls are pretty thin. Yeah. Are they? They're pretty thin. Perfect. Yeah, you have to be a bit quieter, as we found out when someone was banging on the wall, because Pete was talking loud at half eleven at night. But they are, you can hear people upstairs. But yeah, it's, it's fine for me. Yeah, if you're a couple, if you're couple of lads who just travel, or females, or you're on your own, I think it's fine. The people we've met have been nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's the room. It's up to you, really. But would I stay here again? I probably would, yeah, because hotels are crazily expensive here, yes, yeah, and this was under two hundred pound each for five nights. So yeah, that's the travelling guest house in um, Reykjavik, Iceland. Out of 10, what do you think? Price, location, the bad sides, the good sides? I'll give it 7.5 out of 10. I'll go 7, so we're about the same then. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions, leave below. See you all later.